type of project with ECC and S for HANA. Now, in general, we all know like a project as in uh, project management. We already know uh, many of the uh, topic. Uh, many of you may have even the certification with the project management, right? So um, you know traditionally what kind of approach, what, is, what does project means? But in SAP world right now, which is the most amount of projects going on? So first thing is the most amount of project which is going on in SAP world right now is support project. So imagine there's a company. Now this company has run is running their business for like 20, 30 years. They already have SAP and they are happy with their current system. But only thing is someone will have to keep the light bulb on, right? Someone will have to keep supporting because always market improves or evolves, business requirement changes, system errors occurs. And at the end of the day, you want to run your business despite of all those things. And how can you manage it? You have only one way to manage it, that if you there is a dedicated support team, SAP support team is available. If this support team is available to work on all these problems which are mentioned here, then your company will be able to sustain and continue their business like a normal business process. This kind of proce projects are called AMS project or a support project. Now, when you learn first time SAP, you, you get trained. Let's go with an example. You guys get trained. And once you get trained, you are going to, you want to apply this knowledge somehow, somewhere, which is the best place to apply your knowledge first time. If I would first time learn a course or anything, I would actually get get the system access in the same uh, from the uh, uh, for, for practicing that particular uh, skill or a training and once you have enough system access you can practice and you can you have learn enough to crack the interview i would go and apply or uh, try for the support project why this is a project which needs low amount of skills there are problems you need to solve the problems. You don't have to newly design anything. Your skill set is very initial. You are in a learning mode. Support project is the best place to learn and fine tune your knowledge and your understanding of the SAP at the starting level. More or less, everyone would have, have, would have an experience of certain years of with the support project. So it's not a bad thing to have the support project. I by myself had one and a half or two years of support project experience in the very early start of the career. And I still feel that that was, that was something which made my knowledge or a, a ground level, like, you know, fundamentals very much clear because of the support project. This is one of the project where low level of skill require for the starting of the guys and where your focus is on a small scale. You are not designing something new. Your job is to keep the light bulb on in the company. The second type of project is called an implementation project. Now here, there are two terminology. Greenfield. implementation and brownfield. Now this is generally many of the time to the very new uh, consultant, people ask questions in the interview. What is greenfield implementation? What is brownfield implementation? If people has written in their uh, resume, I have worked on a uh, three greenfield implementation and two brownfield implementation. We definitely ask this question just to make sure that the guy understands the definition of greenfield versus brownfield. Greenfield means 
you had a company who had earlier i'm just taking an example oracle system they had oracle system and the way how oracle's setup is done it, it's pretty different right you cannot one to one always match it with the sap structure and that means when you are going ahead to implement a new sap system you are going to start from the scratch you are going to literally understand the business requirement and after understanding that business requirement you are going to implement that freshly with the new concept in that company this is called greenfield here you may probably refer the original design you may probably understand why how what was being done in your original system and setup but you are going to set up your system completely new from the scratch this is called a greenfield implementation in the brownfield implementation this is more like a, you can call it a roll out so for example you already have one of the company or a system available like uh, let's pick up an example procter and gamble so procter and gamble has one sap system okay and now on this sap system already they have us as a country which is available on this sap system and they are running the business for the procter and gamble they are they are selling the things manufacturing happens everything is there don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos and then they decided that now they want to roll out this particular system in another another uh, european country let's pick up an example spain they decided this will be the new new one so already you have sap system available you have already available established processes what you are going to do is literally migrate or like a you know, transform another country business into your already available system so it would be mix it can be a mix of just a just only data migration where you are just bringing in the data and your sap system will just they will start using it after that or you will probably adopt you will add some more new functionality based on their current need and so on and so forth but the precondition is you already have the system available you have already established as established sap system available and your one of the business is running that's typically called a brownfield implementation many of the time you may literally adopt every functionality which is available uh, from one sap system to another sap system it all depends but here everything is happening from the scratch here you have initial structure available so this is the two kind of implementation now majority of the consultant wants to be part of this implementation project is most in demand why people think and and somehow in the market it, it it seems to have been established in that way people think it is very very important to have the uh, greenfield uh, end to end implementation experience and so and so forth if you will start searching for the sap consultants uh, job experience specifically 5 plus years of experience they will always ask how many number of minimum two end to end cycle implementation minimum one greenfield project implementation and blah 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 you will come across these things this this is typically because app apparently these consultants this particular kind of project needs major like you know like expert level skills here why it needs expert level skills and why i called the support project a low level skill the difference in this particular situation is in greenfield project you are taking every decision from the as basic to the as complex and some of the decisions which you are taking it would never be able to revert okay yes you will there are always a way but it may be end up as a costly way and your consultant will your company or your client will end up asking you question why the hell did you do it wrongly then first time and now we are reverting it that will happen but at the at the end of the day your decisions are very very important and um, generally for such level of decision and all we also prefer the people who have certain level of experience in 
making mistakes and that experience normally comes from the ams type of a project or other other brownfield and other projects that's where your experience normally comes so we also prefer if we are going and managing the greenfield implementation project we need the people who has done this sometimes and that's why you will typically see that uh, um, that kind of a profile now um, depending upon complexity and uh, of the project and need of the skill salary levels are also different so that's also one of the thing and uh, having this kind of project on your uh, profile is a pretty reputable topic additionally and most common nowadays a project is a data migration and conversion project what does this means data migration and conversion data migration and conversion project is exactly this kind of project you have a ecc system available and now you want to move to the new system as for hara don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos you are not changing your business process but probably you may have to map it differently because it's two different system it both are sap but two different system so you may have to adjust the processes a little bit you may have to do the migrate data migrate data from one system to another system that means you have to take the data and put it in new system that's what's in simple words a layman language migration of the data you will have to do that when you had the earlier system you had your master data you had your customer you have your material you have your spare parts information you had your um, transaction data that means you had a sales orders create created in your system purchase order created in your system you have all those information till now for years and years you want to migrate that information to the new system right and these kind of projects are called data migration and conversion project from 2025 onwards or not only to the probably 2022 onwards this type of projects will be maximum maximum project you will start seeing this type of why more and more more and more um, companies more and more companies are moving towards the direction of the data migration more and more companies will be forced to go for the s4 hana this and now i am talking very logical point this kind of makes sense that we train ourselves on a s4 hana migration project or s4 hana migration consult right why this makes sense it makes sense because soon soon from the 2022 onwards like 3 years everyone will have to move towards new system because sap is kind of forcing as we discussed earlier and then that is why learning or upskilling yourself in the s4 hana world is definitely a right choice because 24% i think i saw someone write, writing the uh, in the chat uh, comment 24% uh, definitely we have to um, we we have to uh, add up the points uh, means all those companies will start slowly moving to the s4 hana and that would be the big budget project so there would be flurry of the project in future and that is one of the reason right now there is a more and more people are training themselves on the s4 hana uh, concepts s4 hana advanced topics but it's not it's not just you go ahead and train yourself on advanced topic you have to learn first the basic and then you you can train yourself on advanced topic so but logically this seems to be the way to go next i'll take a pause here if anyone has any questions uh, in terms of uh, what kind of projects would be there in the ecc or s4 hana why it is like that and so and so forth any question guys you can always raise your hands by the way so one of the question is there do data migration concepts would be there in training uh, data migration concepts will be there for the advanced training 
So as for HANA related migration uh, concepts will be covered and how, why, and very much in detail will be covered as part of S for HANA SD advanced training. Uh, for the SD basic training, you do not need uh, uh, all this uh, data migration concept uh, discussion. I hope I could answer your question, Faisal. Uh, 